Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class that is English for Grade Two. We are learning Unit Three. Its title is Transportation. My dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation, worksheet links are given. You may click it, download it, follow it as it is, or modify it for your convenience. I am going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. Yes, my dear children. Today we'll recite and understand the poem, and we'll cover the SLO. And before this, my dear children, I have taught you how to recite poem with actions. Remember. So today we'll repeat the this practice, and we'll use pre-reading strategies to predict story by looking at picture in the text and read and recite short poems or nursery rhymes with actions these are our today's slos so let's start with the name of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah mentions in quran surah al nahl verse 8 he also created horses mules and donkeys for your transportation and adornment and he creates what you do not know Yes, my dear children, subhanAllah, you see, everything is mentioned in Quran. Allah has mentioned, I have created these animals for transportation. So what happens? Horses, by horse riding, horses takes you from one place to another. And this is called transportation, right? So you tell me what this story is all about. Here is the look at the title and the pictures to predict the poem and how do you go to your school okay first you tell what the poem is all about look at this picture and also tell to your teacher how do you come to school okay so pause the video answer these two questions to your teacher yes my dear children i hope you find it correctly all these the uh, vehicles which you can see here the it's a rickshaw auto rickshaw here is a car here is a motorcycle there is a train so all these are means of even there is a ship in this picture there is an aeroplane so all these are means the ways of transportation which takes us from one place to another even this uh, transportation can take our luggage, our stuff and many other things as well. So, better these things which take us from one place to another is called transportation and even the way, uh, how do you reach to your school? Maybe you take a bus or rickshaw or van or whatever, that is also a way of transportation, okay? So, this poem is all about transportation. Let's recite, enjoy reciting the poem, then we'll understand it, okay? So, all of you recite with me. Uh, here we go. Transportation, transportation, there are many ways to go. There are many ways to get there. Choose a way and then you go take a plane and fly with others bike or cycle your way home ride a bus that carries many take a car and drive the road take a train take a train on tracks with others ride a horse and travel slow Take a boat over the water, sail or motor, try to row. That's a very interesting poem, okay? So, beta, uh, it's your turn first. Pause the video, enjoy reciting this poem with action, then I'll come back to explain it to you. Yes, my dear children, all of you enjoyed reciting the poem? Okay, wonderful. Now, all of you settle down, sit down, let's understand what this poem is all about transportation transportation this is what i was thinking the poet is just like when you go on road you find there are many type of transportation even if you take car there are many type of cars okay so all these things are transportation which take people from one place to another there are many ways to go, okay? Ways means there are many vehicles available 
if we want to go somewhere. But she is saying, there are many ways to get there. To get where? To reach wherever you want to. For example, if you are coming to school, you are sitting at home. Now, you may take any transportation to reach to school. But choose a way and then you go. What does it mean? First, you should choose. And how do we choose? First, we find out how long is the distance where we want to reach and how, how much time we have to reach there. If, uh, for example, it's a 30 minutes walk and we just have 10 minutes to reach there, so we should not walk. It means we'll be 20 minutes late. That's why if you want to reach somewhere, first you find the distance, then you find the time, how long you have to reach there, and then you select, you choose a way, and then you go. Okay, so if you have 10 minutes to reach to school and it's uh, 30 minutes walking distance, for sure you'll take a rickshaw or you'll request your Baba to take you on bike or car to reach to school on time. This is how we choose a way to reach to school. And transportation here is given the meaning trans transporting someone or something. Okay. So transportation means transporting, means taking, shifting, transferring something or someone from one place to another. And way means a certain behavior or the way, way means um, whatever medium, okay, you are selecting. The next tensor is take a plane and fly with others, okay. So fly because plane Aeroplane flies in air and if there is a long distance, definitely you will, you want, want to reach early. So, you will, you may take a plane or bike or cycle your way home. So, you may uh, take a bike means, better you are too young, I either don't recommend cycle to you to be on road because it's rushy. So, uh, you may request your elder, your baba or maybe your elder brother to take a bike or cycle to reach home. Okay. Ride a bus that carries many. Have you ever traveled in bus? There are many passengers. Bus is a long, a big vehicle and there are many people. They sit together and it's uh, also um, like a social interaction when we travel in local convenience. So, Bus always take many people together and take a car and drive the road. Okay, so bus, bike, cycle and car. These all are transportation which are which uh, like they take from one place to another by road. Okay, they move on road. But aeroplane, it flies in air. So, how many ways are there to travel? How many ways we have discussed so far? I just told you. So, pause the video, answer this question to your teacher. Yes, my dear children, did you mention all? There are a few more. Let's learn about them as well. Take a train on tracks with others. Although train also move on of like a floor but it it does not move on road there are tracks have you seen there are special tracks for trains ride a horse and travel slow okay so if you want to enjoy riding a horse it will take you as well take a boat over the water now if you want to travel over the water which transport is there boat Okay, and I have, have heard if there are a few areas where to reach from one place to another. There is a river or there is a stream within and people used to travel through boat to reach from one, one place to another. Have you seen any place like that? Uh, maybe yes. <laughs> okay. Sail or motor, try to do. Okay, but a boat can be of three types. Sail is usually, it's a type of cloth which has been attached to board and with wind it moves that is called sail motor motor is just like it's attached to any motorbike or car so engine is there you just 
uh, cricket and it starts and the other way is try to row. You see here oars are there. So the way we decided we row the boat and it slowly moves on water service is really fun. If you get any chance you must experience it. So this is all about transportation, the ways, the means. Uh, Poetis has mentioned in this poem. So let's do its uh, comprehension. Dear teachers, these are questions. Kindly pause the video, take the answers of these questions from students first and then ask them to write in their notebook. Yes, my dear children, now you're done with it. Good job, smart work. Here are tick cross again. You will read this statement and you will uh, check the correct answer which we just read, okay? So pause the video, complete this exercise on your book. Yes, are you done with it? Good job, smart students. Here is uh, an activity. Can you solve this riddle and guess what kind of vehicle am I? So here is a riddle and here is another. Uh, I would like even students to play this, you should ask from make peers, teachers kindly make pair of this student. One will ask this, another will ask this, and they will guess what the answer is. So in this way, they'll enjoy this beautiful activity. Pause the video, enjoy this activity. Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? Good job. So here is again a coloring activity in your book. So there are different modes of transportation. Pictures are there. You will pause the video, complete coloring, and then come back. Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? Are you tired? No, you are strong because you drink milk every day. Good job. So I'm giving you a homework. Write names of five vehicles in your notebook. And here I'm giving you a worksheet. Again, my fellow teachers, this worksheet, lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation links are given. You may click it, download it, and kindly give printed worksheet to students for practice. And students, what you will do? You will read the given poem with actions and connect the rhyming words. I have told you what rhyming words are. So you will draw curves to join the rhyming words. So in this way, what we have learned today, we practiced how to recite poem with actions, and we learned about different modes of transport. So we achieved our SLOs to use pre-reading strategies to predict story by looking at picture in the text and read and decide short poems or nursery rhymes with actions. Are we done with it? Yes, and we'll thoroughly enjoy doing it. That's it for today. Tomorrow I'll come again with a very interesting lesson. Till that time, keep learning. Take very good care of yourself. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.